Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, February 11, 2022. It is 12.30 in the afternoon for me. Solutions to problem number 134. We have here a power supply, co-sinusoidal in time, omega, uh, frequency omega, so it has V0 comes cosine omega t. Here a resistor R, here a self-inductor L, and here a capacitor C. And now we are going to look at some extremes values for frequency. The first question is, what is the maximum values for IL, IC and IR in case that omega is zero? In other words, we have simply a battery with voltage V zero. So what is I of L, what is I of C and what is I of R? Now, there's a constant current. So the IDT in the cell inductor is zero. So effectively, the cell inductor can be replaced by a resistor with zero resistance. The capacitor is now fully charged. It has a potential V0. There is no more any current going through the capacitor. So you can replace the capacitor in your mind by a resistor with value infinity. And so I of C, the current through the capacitor is clearly zero, but the current through the resistor and through the cell inductor are the same current. So that is simply according to Ohm's law, V0 divided by R. Very simple. You really don't need any equations unless you think of omega's law as an equation. Now, same question under A, as, but now omega is going to be infinitely high. Now, the IDT is now infinitely high. So effectively you can replace the self-inductor by a resistor with an infinite resistance. So clearly there cannot be any current going through the self-inductor. So you already know that I of L is going to be zero. But you can replace C, the capacitor now, by a zero resistance because that in frequency is so immensely high that it doesn't obstruct in any way the changes of current. The frequency is infinitely high. The capacitor can be replaced by a zero resistance as if it were not even there. So what you have now is R is now in, in, in series with the capacitor. Earlier, R was in series with the self inductor on the A, but now, and, and the resistance of the capacitor was infinity, but now R is in series with the capacitor, and now the resistance of the self inductor is infinitely high. So clearly, the current through the resistor is now V0 over R, exactly the same as it was before, and so is the current through the capacitor. So they're both V0 divided by R. Now comes a somewhat more complicated question. Is the value V0 over R higher or lower than when omega has not extreme value zero 
or omega, but it's in between somewhere. We already argued that when it is infinity, then IR is 0 divided by R. If omega is in zero, then I true sister is also V0 divided by R. So obviously it can never be higher than that. So at any other combination whereby omega is somewhere in between zero and infinity, clearly the current through Bitelv inductor must be lower. Question D. There is one frequency for which IR is zero. This is not so intuitive. But given the fact that this is so, what do you think that frequency is? <laughs> Look, there is only one frequency that is very special in this case. And that is the frequency where the self-inductor and the capacitor are going to oscillate such that there is no loss, no dissipation, no heat is produced, no energy loss. The voltage on the capacitor at any moment in time offsets exactly the voltage by the battery, not battery, by the voltage source, which is phi zero cosine omega t. So the current through the resistor is zero. It's non-intuitive, but it's a very interesting case. So you're going to get an oscillating current between the capacitor and the self-inductor and there is no current at all going through the resistor. See that current between the self-inductor and the capacitor can continue forever and ever and ever. It doesn't even need the battery anymore because there is no energy loss. So you could actually break the line once it is going to oscillate the two, you could break the connection with the, with the battery. You could also break the connection with the resistor. They play no role anymore. They will just, on their own, very happily oscillate with no energy loss. And that frequency, omega, is 1 divided by the square root of LC. So that is then the only equation you may have to remember or you can look it up. So that resonance frequency between omega, between the self-inductor and C, that omega is 1 over the square root of LC. No energy loss at all. And of course, if there are no other things in that circuit, that oscillation will go on forever and ever and ever and ever, whatever that means, forever and ever and ever. We will be friends forever and ever and ever. What does that mean? Have a nice day and take care.